Okay, so in this example, we're asked to describe the graphing window, uh, also known as the viewing rectangle, uh, shown on this uh, rectangular coordinate system, or also known as the Cartesian coordinate system. So when you're going to uh, plot an object, uh, such as a scatter plot or a curve, um, on the rectangular coordinate system. Of course, you're going to have to draw the x-axis and you're going to have to draw a y-axis. Uh, and the x-axis is a number line, so that's infinitely long. And the y-axis is also a number line, and that's also infinitely long. And so you can only uh, draw a portion of the x-axis and you can only draw a portion of the y-axis. So that portion of the x-axis and that portion of the y-axis you draw uh, when you're plotting some object, um, that's uh, referred to collectively as the graphing window uh, for the plot or the graph that you're going to make. So we want to learn in this example how we uh, indicate um, uh, symbolically um, a graphing window. All right, so a graphing window consists of two parts. Uh, the X window, so that's the portion of the X axis that's included in your rectangular coordinate system. And then, of course, a Y window. That's the portion of the y-axis that's included in your uh, rectangular coordinate system. So uh, the way we indicate an x window uh, is by simply writing down the minimum and maximum values uh, that are included um, uh, in our uh, plot uh, of the x-axis. So in this example, the minimum value is uh, easy to see. That's minus 30. And um, the maximum value is uh, also easy to see. That's positive 30. Now, there's one other number uh, that we're going to include in our in, in, that we're going to include in our x window. Notice, by the way, we enclose these uh, uh, values in the x window in square brackets. Uh, this third number is called the scale, and that indicates uh, how the tick marks are spaced along the x-axis. So. Um, we can't see that explicitly here in this example, how the tick marks are spaced, so we're going to have to calculate that. So let's look at the uh, positive portion of the x-axis, which goes from 0 to 30. Well, notice that um, <clears throat> we've used uh, uh, six uh, tick marks in that uh, uh, interval from 0 to 30, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so if we take 30 and divide it by 6, that gives us a spacing of the, uh, for the tick marks of 5. So uh, this tick mark must indicate 5 on the x-axis, this one 10, uh, this one 15, uh, 20, uh, and then this one is 25. And of course, the last one is 30. So um, that means the scale for our x window is uh, going to be 5. So now let's fill in our y window. And then together, uh, this constitutes the graphing window. So we can see the minimum value that's been plotted on the uh, y-axis is minus 60. So we write that value first. Let me get that written right. And the maximum value that's plotted on the y-axis, that's positive 60. And again, for this third value, we want to indicate the scale. All right, so if we look at the positive portion of the y-axis, let's see. Uh, that goes from 0 to 60. And we've used 1, 2, 3 tick marks. Or we've drawn three tick marks along that uh, portion of the y-axis. So if we take 60 and divide it by 3, that gives us a tick spacing of 20. So our scale for our y window is 20. Uh, so this tick mark must correspond to uh, 20. Uh, this tick mark would correspond to 40. And of course, the last tick mark uh, would correspond to 60. So all together here, here's how we would indicate our graphing window, minus 30, 35. For the x window by, and then minus 60, uh, positive 60, 20, uh, that's the y window.